you guys, it's Caitlin Lesk. I just got back a little over a week ago from Chicago. I was there for a Hay House conference. It was called Speak, Write, and Promote, and it was taught by Reed Tracy, who's the president of Hay House, and Cheryl Richardson, who's one of my favorite authors, and I just adore both of them. And I wanted to share um, some of my take-home points from the conference with you guys. Um, I just, I really loved the way it was taught, and it, it just had such a great message, and there were so many amazing people there, and so the whole conference had a great vibe, and I learned so much. But um, now that I've been home for a little over a week, and I've had some time to process everything I learned, I just wanted to share some of my big takeaways, because I think they can really help all of you guys, too. So, um... One of the things that stood out most to me, um, this this conference was taught, it was called Speak, Write, and Promote, and we were taught a lot, a lot of skills were jam-packed into the weekend, whether it was public speaking, writing, if you want to be an author someday, um, how to set up an online platform, how to grow that online platform. So it was really about um, whatever it is your business is or your message is, how to best communicate that, how to get it out into the world. But... The biggest thing I loved about it is how it was taught in a way, even though it was technically a business conference, it was taught in a way that was not the traditional push, push, push that a lot of business conferences had. We were constantly being directed to reconnect with with our authentic selves and what our true purpose was and to approach our business from that perspective rather than just thinking we need to do the next big thing to get ourselves out there. So it wasn't so much about being a published author. It was about having a message that you just couldn't wait to share with the world that you were willing to get it out in any way that you could. Um, and it wasn't about getting the most Facebook likes. It was about genuinely sharing good content and creating something that is worthwhile for people. So um, right off the bat, I want to read this to you because uh, Cheryl had introduced the conference the very first night that their purpose in this conference was to teach people who are fueled by a com compelling vision to create products and services that are going to benefit humanity in some way. And I just thought that was so amazing because um, not only do I love uh, the place that Hay House always comes from and a agree with them wholeheartedly. But it really reconnected me to what I feel is valuable in my life and meaningful in my life. And so the whole conference had that tone for it. So I think my biggest take home message was really just to look at it more in terms of the big picture. So instead of setting any sort of specific crazy goals about what I define to be successful and what I want to do for next year and where I see myself in five years. It was more about what is my message, how can that benefit people, and then what is the best way to get that out there. And that's really it. And so I think one of the most important things that I realized throughout the conference, just in hearing um, you know, all the other things that people there were working on in their lives and the businesses they were creating that were all so valuable and so incredible, um, and hearing their stories, it, it's just, it truly made me realize um, I've always believed this to be true, but it was something that just reminded me that we all have a message and there's value in all of our messages we all have our you, you want our own unique perspectives and experiences, and we have something to share. So the message was more instead of putting out what we think is going to be popular online or the next viral YouTube video, the message is to connect to what we really truly feel is authentic to ourselves. And so connecting with that realness and that rawness and that authenticity is what is going to really create the message and bring that up for what you want to share with the world. So so it's not about trying to do the next big thing. It's about knowing you have value and knowing there's a value in that message that you have to share. So um, 
the I guess the the other big concept then that came from that was to focus on long term success. So that was really what the conference was aimed at. It wasn't about overnight internet sensation um, or anything like that. But it was more about connecting to what's meaningful right now. One of the assignments we were given when we left the conference was to do something in the next week that would help to expand our business, but for it to be something that was really exciting for us and fun. And I think that's so important because in all of life, I, I know um, myself and a lot of my friends, and if you're watching this, probably you too, you know, we want to help the world and we want to make a difference and we want to make an impact, but it's it's more about you know, seeing the big picture and knowing that we are making an impact and that we're having fun along the way and that we're enjoying the process because if we can't do that, then we're not being our best selves. So um, the other uh, takeaway that I thought was really neat was the emphasis on teaching with a story. So sharing your own story and using that to teach um, rather than just sharing information. Um, and then other than that, like I said, just connecting to our vulnerability, staying staying focused on the big picture and the kind of people we really want to be. And by allowing ourselves to do that, we inherently give permission for other people to do that. So really reconnecting to your authentic self, reconnecting to what's meaningful to you and continuing to take the next step based on those things, based what feels meaningful to you, based what feels based on what feels fun. So so if you are a business owner or whatever you're trying to do in your life to be successful, just make sure you take a good hard look at what you're defining as successful and remember that we have our whole lives to just be the best people we can be and to have fun with that and to explore our purpose and, and to follow what's meaningful to us. So, so take the pressure off and connect today in some way to your excitement and your joy and what's fun for you. And I promise you will find meaning in that and your purpose will develop from that. So I hope this is beneficial.